Tonight, the city of St. Louis is facing a new lawsuit for the wrongful death of a detainee at the city justice center. Our political editor, Mark Maxwell, has more on the allegations that are now cited in court records. Mark. Brent, Kevin Cavins endured extreme pain, suffering, and injury his last three days alive as he suffered from opioid withdrawals in a detox tank in the city jail. That's according to this new lawsuit alleging medical negligence led to his wrongful death in November 2020. Angela Allen, that's his sister, claims that Kevin uh, Cavins was never referred to the jail's medical doctor in accordance with jail policy. Her lawsuit now accuses nurses with Corizon Health working in the jail of prescribing him with drugs known to have adverse interactions when taken together. He never did get his day in court. He died at 33, just three days after he was detained. The lawsuit seeking damages comes less than one week after the St. Louis Board of Aldermen created a new pathway for city jail guards to file anonymous complaints to try and prevent scenarios like this. I think this Board of Aldermen also agrees that it's bigger than just lawsuits. We're losing life. Yes, jail is not a place of luxury, but uh, there's been, like I said, 10 people killed in the jail. Um, that's why this uh, Board of Aldermen passed that uh, board bill overwhelmingly. This particular death happened in 2020 before Mayor Jones was elected and before she appointed the current jail commissioner. But those problems have persisted with another 10 detainees dying behind bars in that same facility since then. We've reached out to the city for comment, but it usually does not respond to ongoing litigation. Mark Maxwell.